Hilton shuts down the Gold Eyes. Kane County's offense explodes, and Scott Triver stays hot for the Red Hawks. Welcome to the American Association Whip Around on this Sunday. Great weekend series continuing on Saturday. We got a full slate, seven games, including a doubleheader, which we'll start with in Kansas City. Railcats and Monarchs finally getting their series underway, matching up for two on Saturday. And right away, Chris Herman wastes no time. His 15th home run of the year, a two-run shot in the first. Kansas City would grow a big lead in this one, but Gary would explode in the final frame of this seven-inning game, scoring all six of their runs. LG Castillo with an RBI single. Here's the Railcats take game one, six to four. Go to game two, though, where it was Micah Adolfo stealing the show. He had five RBIs on the night. This is a bases clearing double in the bottom of the six. Kansas City splits the doubleheader, winning game two, seven to two. To Winnipeg, game five between the Railroaders and Gold Eyes. Three nothing Cleburne already in the third. Mark Garaviotis brings home two more with this double all the way to the corner in left. And then on the mound, Kevin Hilton, outstanding. Eight innings, just one hit, no earned runs. A couple of strikeouts as well as the Railroaders take game five 11 to two to Kane County where this one got out of hand early for Sioux Falls bottom of the first Jonah Davis one of two home runs for him on the night he had five RBIs he's up to 14 home runs on the season and similar story here bottom of the fourth Jimmy Kerrigan, a bomb out to left. One of two home runs for him as well. He had six RBIs on the night. Kane County wins this one 20 to one. Oof. To Lincoln, game two between the Milkmen and Salt Dogs. Two nothing Milwaukee in the first. Luke Roscom, back to back nights with a home run for Roscom. He ties it up with this two run shot. But from there, the Milkmen would take it three to two they lead in the top of the fourth Campbellego drives home two more with this single the milkman go on to cruise in this one by a nine to two final to fargo game two between the explorers and red hawks bottom of the second three nothing red hawks lead corral prime goes deep out to right sneaking it just over the wall giving fargo moorhead a five to nothing lead later on in the third scott schreiber once again how about this addition for the red hawks he has five home runs in just five games played with the red hawks seven to two they take game two finally to chicago game two between the dock hounds and dogs after lake country took the opener bottom of the second dylan rosa after he hit his first dogs home run on friday he does the same thing on saturday and bottom of the third two nothing chicago leads nick heath brings home two more with this double lake country would cut the deficit but chicago hangs on for a five to three win Here's your final scores from Saturday once again. Gary and Kansas City split their doubleheader. Cleburne brings it to a 3-2 deficit in their set in Winnipeg. And all four other series are even at one game apiece. Tonight, we've got a full slate of action all in the daytime. Five of the six games getting started right around that 1 p.m. window. And one late afternoon game, the finale between the Dockhounds and Dogs in Chicago. And one final reminder, we've got the All-Star Game festivities getting underway tomorrow night, the Home Run Derby, and then, of course, the All-Star Game taking place at 635 on Tuesday night. Go to MilwaukeeMuckman.com slash All-Star Game for a full schedule of events and tune into the game as well as the Home Run Derby at AABaseball.tv. You can catch all the games today at AABaseball.tv as well or get your last-minute tickets through the AA Baseball app. I'm Matt Yazel for the American Association, where we play to win.